Okay, uh, welcome everybody to the class. Um, we have your attention again, so um, thank you very much for all the emails I got concerning the questions for the NFC architecture. I had some emails, this was unclear the last time, so I'm going to repeat this just uh, with some hardware I brought. In this case, the Raspberry Pi as an example of the CPU, which you can see at the bottom here. You can also see it there. So, um, this basically should give you an example of how this works. What you can see is the CPU at the very bottom, and then you have some elements such as USB, I2C, and those are things we know. USB, the universal serial bus, and things uh, you know, where you charge your phone, this is the USB controller. So this is actually translated to the elements which are available for device-to-device -device communication. And device-to-device -device communication basically means you can attach anything to this Raspberry Pi or any other component of those Internet of Things. Um, and at the top you have the hardware controller. This is the element which you attach to the, uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So for example, the I2C, which stands for uh, Integrated uh, Inter-Integrated Circuit, and the SPI, which stands for uh, Serial uh, Peripheral Interface, are another two examples which you could use compared to USB, just like the USB component, to actually connect a hardware device to this, uh, yeah, to this calculator, calculating machine, the CPU, in this case, the CPU. Um, in this case, <laughs> yeah, in this case, I'm just going to show this to you. Uh, I'm showing this to you with another component, which is, which is the component which you can actually connect. <laughs> so this is the hardware controller you can see at the next level. At the next level of this uh, image, you can see the hardware controller. So this is the hardware controller which you can use to read an NFC tag in this case. Okay, and you can connect it, uh, for example, to a Raspberry Pi with those pins. Huh? Um, yeah. So this should basically wrap up. Uh, what was the main question from the last time? Um, so in this case, I'm going to show this to you based on the hardware we have here, uh, which is the bottom. Okay, now uh, guys, I'd like to ask you to either like leave the room or be respectful towards your colleagues and, and concentrate because this is a topic which was asked a lot. So please um, stop. <laughs> Okay, so in this case, okay, so I'm going to show this to you based on the hardware components. I brought some uh, with me in this case, um, trying to uh, once again just reiterate this, this, these uh, elements concerning what you can see here, specifically at the bottom. So, I think there's something very interesting here. So. Um, Maybe I can give my professional advice in this case. Uh, we are talking about, about his Tinder days. <laughs> <laughs> we are not talking about the Tinder days. So. Oh, we do. <laughs> the thing is, I have two kids and a wife, so it's a while back when I used it. Or actually, I never used Tinder. So <laughs> I'm, I'm quite interested in the experience, the user experience. So it would fit to information systems topic. So we could talk about this after the class. So maybe we can have some exchange of this. We could put it <laughs> Possibly. Okay, so in this case, just focus again. Okay, thank you. So, uh, just to reiterate this one more time. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you one more time based on the hardware I brought to just uh, give you some examples, hands on, hands on examples. <laughs> okay, guys, this is this is enough, guys. This is enough. I've been, I've been talking for two minutes now, and you're already talking and not concentrating. This is disrespectful against all your colleagues, okay? So please, please stop talking or leave the classroom. Okay? Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm just going to reiterate this one more time. 